Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm making my famous uh, veggie pizza. Now this is more of like a traditional pizza, but it's going to be with a white sauce and vegetables. Um, I like a real thin crispy crust, but I like to season up the, the crust too. So this is just, you can use crust of your choice. I was going to use wheat, but I had a, a the mixed kind. So this is really meant for like a round pizza, but so I've put it out to be um, on this very large pan. Therefore, it's going to be, you know, uh, thinner. So what I've done, I'm, I'm preheating my oven, and what I'm going to do here, along with uh, the stuff on, you know, I've uh, stretched this out to be a real thin crust. I'm going to add, I've, I've swathered it in olive oil. It's got a nice coating of olive oil. And then I'm going to add this, um, that I use a lot, this granulated garlic. Uh, I guess you could use like a garlic salt or garlic powder, but... Um, I always go for this granulated because it's just pure granulated uh, garlic. So it's going to have like a garlic that's going to like roast in there with the um, olive oil. Nice coating of garlic. And then I'm going to add some uh, fresh Parmesan. So I'm going to go over the whole thing with some fresh Parmesan too. And then um, I'll be back. We're going to put it in the oven with no toppings. I wanted to get that crust nice and crisp and this Parmesan and garlic baked in. And then we're going to add our vegetable toppings and the, the white sauce. So we'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I've got this all covered. But I did forget one last thing. I was going to put some cornmeal also. So I'm going to give it a real light sprinkling of cornmeal. And then it's going to go in the, uh, in, especially on the edges, on the crust. You can see that cornmeal on there. It gives it a little bit of crunchy texture. This is going to go right in the oven. I've got it like a 400 degree oven. I'm going to put this in for only about five, you know, five, six minutes or so, just so it starts to get a little crusty and that stuff bakes on. And then we're going to come back with our toppings. Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So I just got this in there just enough to get like a little bit of a brown crispy going on the bottom. You can kind of check it and look at the color. It's got a little bit of a crisp going on. At the base of this uh, pizza is artichoke and spinach. Now I have a can of artichokes here that I've diced real fine. This is only a half a bag of frozen spinach because that's all I had. And then I have my, um, these are uh, cauliflower, which I also want to put on the bottom layer. So I'm going to go through and put layer all these all over and the spinach has to be picked apart. This is fairly tedious, but it, it'll be worth it in the end. So these are my um, artichokes diced up and I'm going to go through and layer the whole thing with artichoke, spinach, and cauliflower. Be back in a minute. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and I've got the bottom layer of vegetables, which is spinach, artichoke, and um, cauliflower. And I bought a jar of this, you know, this is gar roasted garlic, parmesan, um, alfredo sauce. There's all different kinds of brands. There, this is the most rich part of it. Um, there, you find these in down the spaghetti sauce aisle at the grocery store. So now this sauce I want to put over. I'm going to put over the um, those vegetables. These are it's like the bottom coat of vegetables. So I'm going to go through and put this over it, and then, um, you know, I'm going to top it with some different kinds of vegetables, too. So you're getting a ton of vegetables in here. I used to, you know, and my daughters are vegetarian now, but when we were kids, you know, they were kids, I should say. Yeah, I used to make this all the time, because it's, you know, it's, there is some richness to it with the bready crust, but you make it thin, and then you, um, you know, the sauce obviously has some richness to it. Um, but they're getting tons of vegetables in the meantime, you know, so... That's kind of good. That makes it kind of good. So once I get this all down in here, then I'm going to go with my uh, my cheese also. Okay, I'm back and I've got this all. And I'm taking the back of this spoon and I'm just kind of s smearing it around and uh, filling in the holes here. So I've got it like sh smushed out, <laughs> I guess would be the thing. And on, so there's this creamy layer and underneath the creamy layer there is the spinach artichoke and cauliflower. Uh, then I'm going to do my layer of cheese. You can use cheese of your choice. I have a little bit of this stuff. This is like, um, it's like this herbal cheese. It's real, real, real soft. Um, it's almost like that French, like a Gruyere, you know, a Gruyere cheese or something. Or the kind that in Europe where they have the soft cheese on the sandwiches. It's kind of like that. And it's got herbs in it. I just happen to have it. But, you know, you could definitely use mozzarella or something. This is definitely less, uh, you know, calories and less fat and stuff to use this. And then I'm going to fill in with some the rest of the fresh ground uh, Parmesan, too. 
And then once I get that done, we're going to put some vegetables on top, too, that I would like to be roasted in the oven. That's some green pepper and broccoli and onion and stuff on top. So I'm going to go through, get my Parmesan out here, do the whole thing in Parmesan, and we'll put the be back to show you the other veggies. Back in a minute. Okay, we're coming down the home stretch. I've got green onion, and um, I like my broccoli, like really tiny pieces. And then I cut up some green peppers, you know, like this size. If I had red peppers, I would definitely be putting those on. I don't, I didn't have any. This is kind of a impromptu thing. Okay, so I'm going to do all this. I put these on the top because I want them to be kind of crispy. And the other ones underneath because I want them to be more soft and blended in with the sauce. So it's almost like, you know, the spinach garlic... Um, artichoke dip you know with the, the thing being the cracker because the crust is nice and thin all right so i'm going to go through and uh put these distribute these green peppers all over you could use any vegetables you want definitely you know sun-dried tomatoes i mean whatever mushrooms for sure this just happened to be what i had around here so um i'm going to go through and then we're going to pop it back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes just let that cheese and everything kind of melt down and these veggies on top get a little roasted and I'll pull it out a little bit. It's going to be awesome. Okay, here we go. In the oven. Okay, fresh from the oven. See, we can see that the um, the peppers are nice and brown and crispy in the broccoli. We got a little bit of golden brown around the edge. Everything's melted. Perfect. This will freeze up great. So you can cut it up, put it in the freezer, wrap it in foil. Usually I do. And then, you know, you can just put like one or two small pieces. So this is going to get all diced up. We'll probably have it all today, but um, if you have extra, freeze it up and warm it up in an oven right in the foil. Comes back pretty good. All right, so that's our garlic artichoke spinach white sauce pizza, vegetable pizza. Enjoy.